This is an engraving that I created in 2008. The title is Albrecht Dura engraves his initials. In making this print, I used the same technology that Albrecht Dura had used for his engravings more than 500 years ago. I had no preconceived notion of how this project would develop, or even whether I could complete the idea. But I'll show you how this image grew as the idea gradually took shape while I worked on the plate. Durer is the most famous engraver in history, and I've studied his work for many years. He was a perfect subject for my engraving. Even his famous monogrammed initials were widely recognized and imitated by other artists. I had to make an early decision about how I would portray Durer's hands. His thumbs were not normal. Several of his self-portraits show that he had a peculiar deformity called racket thumbs. The deformity didn't seem to bother him, and since Durer sums were not going to be the subject of my engraving, I decided that I would put less detail in his hands than on the other parts of the composition. This is my preliminary sketch. I planned to begin the engraving by going this far on the plate, then worry about the rest later. This is a proof of the first state of the plate. I had no idea what would go into the background, so I planned to leave that until much later. There was plenty of work to do within the figure. State 2 is darker, and I've begun to indicate the initials that will be partially visible in Durer's plate. The individual states continue getting darker, and the form is getting stronger and more solid. State 10 begins to show metallic reflections in the surface of the copper plate. My goal at this point was to keep the face light with strong contrast as it might be when illuminated by light reflecting from a shiny polished copper plate. At State 14 I tried something in the background. On the left I tentatively tried the cryptogram from Durer's famous engraving Melancholia I, but I didn't like it. I concentrated instead on the right side, which was a corner of the studio with shelves, books, bottles, and a candle. In State 15, I had burnished out the cryptogram. In its place, I put in a mockingbird who has come to watch the famous engraver at work. The flamboyant bird had come prepared to mock Albrecht Durer's amazing work, but instead he is transfixed in astonished admiration, watching the master's sharp burin cut an image into a gleaming copper plate. I continued making the left background and the mockingbird darker in each printed state. State 21 shows how I began working on Durer's engraving table. There are indications of linear perspective on the table to heighten the feeling of directional lighting from an open window in front of the master. State 25 shows darker areas in both the bird and in Durer's clothing. At this point, I decided that I had done enough and could call the print finished. I printed an edition of 40 impressions and used a pencil to inscribe the title and signature on each.